The stories of the sea are vast and countless, but few are as eerie and intriguing as those of the vessels that lie abandoned, seemingly forgotten, yet holding an enduring grip on our imagination. Each ship, each ghost of the waterways, is a testament to mankind's will to conquer the world, echoing stories of triumph, tragedy, and time itself. Number 1. SS America, USA Launched in 1939, the SS America was a stunning ocean liner that was hailed as a symbol of United States technological prowess and elegance. Owned by the United States Lines, the ship served several roles, from a passenger liner to a troop transport in World War II, demonstrating her versatility and resilience. During the war, she was renamed the USS West Point, and her opulent interiors were stripped to facilitate the transportation of troops. With her impressive speed and size, she could carry a significant number of soldiers, contributing valuably to the war effort. Once the war ended, she returned to her initial role as a passenger liner, and her glory days slowly began to recede. In the late 1960s, she was sold to Chandris Group and underwent refurbishment to serve as an Australian immigrant ship. During this time, she was renamed the Australis, embarking on a new chapter of her life. What remains of the SS America today is a haunting silhouette of rust and ruin. Half submerged and beaten by the elements, her hull is now a haunting reminder of a ship that once sailed with elegance and purpose. As she slowly disintegrates and succumbs to the Atlantic, the ghost of the SS America remains an eerie testament to the relentless march of time and the unforgiving nature of the sea. Her story, one of ambition, service, decline, and abandonment, continues to captivate those who look upon her wreckage, a poignant symbol of the transitory nature of glory. Number 2. Mar Sem Fim, Antarctica The Mar Sem Fim, which translates to Endless Sea in English, is a Brazilian yacht that met an untimely end in the frigid waters of Antarctica. Launched in 2001, this ship was built for leisure and used primarily for scientific and educational expeditions, carrying a dedicated team of scientists and explorers to the icy landscapes of the South. In April 2012, a tragic chain of events unfolded as the yacht encountered severe weather conditions near Ardley Cove. Caught in an unusually intense storm, the vessel was trapped in a chokehold of ice that proved too strong to break. The relentless cold and harsh Antarctic winds slowly turned the waters surrounding the Mar Sem Fim into a tomb of ice, effectively sinking the yacht. Today, the Mar Sem Fim is a surreal spectacle. The icy waters have preserved the ship in a perfect state of ruin, her mast jutting out of the ice, a lonely reminder of man's brave, often perilous explorations into the unknown. The haunting image of the endless sea frozen in time is a silent testament to the relentless and indifferent power of nature. Number 3. MS World Discoverer Solomon Islands The MS World Discoverer was a cruise ship specifically designed for navigating polar regions, but she found her final resting place in the tropical warmth of the Solomon Islands. German-built and launched in 1974, this vessel was chartered by various cruise companies for expeditions in the Arctic and Antarctic regions, providing her passengers with an adventure of a lifetime. However, the adventure came to an abrupt end on April 30th, 2000, when the ship hit an uncharted reef in the Sandfly Passage of the Solomon Islands. The impact inflicted significant damage on the ship's hull, causing her to take on water quickly. The captain, Oliver Cruz, acted swiftly to ground the ship in Roderick Bay to prevent it from sinking and to facilitate the safe evacuation of all passengers and crew. Now, more than two decades later, the world discoverer remains in the shallow waters of Roderick Bay, listing heavily to its side. The tropical jungle is slowly reclaiming the ship, creeping and winding its way into the skeletal remains. It's a ghost ship that has become a part of the island itself, a stark contrast to the icy waters it was built to navigate. A visit to the World Discoverer offers a peek into a strange, post-apocalyptic world where nature steadily engulfs the remnants of human ambition. Number 4. SS Airfield, Australia In the bustling urban environment of Sydney, Australia, a surprising sight greets visitors to Homebush Bay, a century-old ship, the SS Airfield, flourishing with lush greenery. Once a massive one 140-ton steam collier, 
The SS Airfield was built in 1911 in the United Kingdom and was used to transport supplies to American troops stationed in the Pacific region during World War II. Post-war, it continued its life as a collier until 1972, when it was sent to Homebush Bay for breaking up. However, the shipbreaking yard closed down, and the SS Airfield, along with several other ships, was left abandoned. The once industrious ship has now been reclaimed by nature and serves as a floating forest, a spectacle of resilience and rebirth. The hull is home to a thriving ecosystem of mangrove trees, creating a surreal yet beautiful scene that appears to have jumped straight out of a fantasy novel. Today, the SS Airfield, affectionately referred to as the Floating Forest, stands as an unexpected and enchanting landmark in Homebush Bay. It is not just an abandoned ship, but a symbol of nature's ability to adapt and transform, offering a unique blend of industrial history and natural beauty. Number 5. Demetrios, formerly called Clintholm, Greece. Lying forsaken on the sandy shores of Valtaki Beach near Githio, Greece, is the haunting spectacle of the Demetrios shipwreck. Constructed in Denmark in 1950 and initially named Clintholm, this ship served dutifully in various capacities before its mysterious end. The ship's final journey began in 1980, when it was reportedly involved in cigarette smuggling between Turkey and Italy. Allegedly, due to the illegal nature of its operations, the ship was seized by the authorities and was later abandoned due to the costs of maintaining it. Demetrios was left to the mercy of the elements and the sea, which eventually washed it up onto Valtaki Beach in December 1981. Today, the ghost ship Demetrios, with its rusty hull corroded by decades of salt and wind, is an eerie sight against the backdrop of the crystal-clear waters of the Mediterranean. The ship has been slowly falling apart, its structure weathering away under the relentless assault of the elements. Yet it stands defiant, an enigmatic relic hinting at tales of covert operations and spectral sailors. The Demetrios continues to captivate and intrigue, its ghostly silhouette a reminder of a checkered past etched in rust and lore. Number 6. S.S. Mahino, New Zealand Stranded on the sandy shores of Fraser Island in Queensland, New Zealand, is the SS Mahino, a ship whose elegance and service has been worn away by the relentless advance of time. Built in Scotland in 1905, the SS Mahino was one of the first turbine-driven steamers, operating a luxury passenger service between Sydney and Wellington. However, the glamour of her initial years faded into the background when World War I broke out. The SS Mahino was repurposed as a hospital ship, carrying wounded soldiers from the battlefields of Gallipoli and the Western Front back to safety. Since then, the ship has been a popular tourist attraction, slowly succumbing to the corrosive effects of the salt air and ocean waves. The SS Mahino has become an integral part of the landscape, her rusted hull a stark reminder of the passage of time and the relentless march of nature. Number 7. The Ghost Ships of the Aral Sea, Kazakhstan In what was once the fourth largest lake in the world, the Aral Sea, an eerie graveyard of ships now lies marooned in the desert sands of Kazakhstan. The tale of these ghost ships is a distressing saga of ecological disaster. The Aral Sea began shrinking in the 1960s when Soviet irrigation projects diverted the rivers that fed the lake. As the water receded, the thriving fishing industry that the local communities relied on collapsed. By the late 1980s, the lake had split into two smaller bodies of water, and by 2014, the eastern basin had completely dried up. Today, the ship graveyard in the Aral Sea presents a surreal landscape, a desolate scene of human-made environmental catastrophe. The ghost ships left to the mercy of the elements slowly rust away their silent cries echoing the devastating consequences of exploiting nature for short-term gains. The Aral Sea's ghost ships are not just relics of a bygone era. They are stark warnings for future generations about the irreversible damage that human actions can inflict on our planet. Number 8. Costa Concordia, Italy On the serene waters of the Tyrrhenian Sea off the coast of Isola del Giglio, Italy, tragedy struck on January 13, 2012. When the Costa Concordia, a modern luxury cruise liner, ran aground, 
A negligent maneuver too close to shore led to a colossal rock gashing a 50-meter hole in the ship's hull. With more than 4,200 passengers and crew aboard, the ship quickly took on water and capsized, resulting in the loss of 32 lives. The disaster of the Costa Concordia became a grim reminder of the perils that can befall even the most modern and luxurious ships. The salvage operation for the Costa Concordia was one of the largest and most expensive in history. The ship was parbuckled or rotated upright in 2013 and was eventually refloated and towed to the port of Genoa for scrapping in 2014. The ill-fated voyage of the Costa Concordia stands as one of the most tragic maritime disasters of the 21st century. The once magnificent ship, renowned for its elegance and modern amenities, is now remembered for its tragic end a chilling reminder of the human cost of negligence and recklessness at sea. Number 9. M.V. Captianus, Scotland Resting in the waters of the River Clyde in Scotland, the sugar boat M.V. Captianus tells a story of a stormy night and an unfortunate collision. Built in 1953 in France, the Greek vessel was primarily used for transporting sugar and other goods. The fateful night of January 27, 1974, witnessed a violent storm in the Clyde. During this storm, the MV Captianus collided with another ship, the BP tanker British Light. The collision, along with the fierce storm, caused the sugar boat to list onto a sandbank. The crew was rescued safely, but the MV Captianus couldn't be recovered due to the risk of disrupting the sandbank. And so, the vessel was left to the mercy of the elements. Over the years, the MV Captianus has slowly deteriorated, its structure corroded by the relentless action of the sea and weather. Today, the remains of the sugar boat continue to rest on the sandbank, visible even at high tide. Overgrown with marine life, the MV Captianus serves as a marine habitat and a curious sight for locals and tourists. The skeletal remains of this ship, emerging from the waters of the Clyde, are a silent witness to a fateful stormy night and the unforgiving power of the sea. Number 10. La Famille Express, Turks and Caicos. In the turquoise waters of the Turks and Caicos archipelago rests a peculiar sight, the rusted hulk of the La Famille Express. This 100-meter Soviet-era oil rig supply vessel found its way into these serene waters after being separated from its tug during Hurricane Francis in 2004. Originally built in Bulgaria in 1952, the ship served various roles and passed through several hands, including the Soviet Navy. Its final owner was a Dominican Republic-based company that had intended to convert it into a freighter. Since the hurricane, the La Famille Express has remained abandoned in the shallow waters, slowly decaying under the harsh Caribbean sun. It has turned into a popular spot for divers and an artificial reef for marine life. Coral and sponges cling to its structure, and diverse species of fish have made their home in its shadow. The sight of the sunken ship juxtaposed against the backdrop of the turquoise Caribbean Sea creates a captivating scene. The La Famille Express stands as a monument to the forces of nature, showcasing the resilience of life in its rusted hull and serving as a reminder of the sea's power to transform man-made vessels into homes for marine life. Number 11. SS Palo Alto, USA At Seacliff State Beach in California, the remains of the SS Palo Alto, an oil tanker built during World War I, draws attention. Commissioned too late to see active service in the war, the ship was mothballed until 1929 when a local company bought her. The intention was to transform the SS Palo Alto into a floating entertainment complex, complete with a dance floor, swimming pool, and cafe. However, the Great Depression struck soon after the pleasure ship opened, leading to its closure and abandonment. In the following decades, the SS Palo Alto deteriorated and was further damaged during storms. The battered ship was eventually left to nature and became an artificial reef, attracting numerous species of marine life. A 2016 storm caused the ship to crack in half, leaving the stern detached from the rest of the ship. Today, while the SS Palo Alto remains closed to the public due to safety concerns, it is a significant sight from the beach, its dilapidated structure serving as a testament to a bygone era. 
its history, from an unused warship to a short-lived entertainment venue to an artificial reef, mirrors the unpredictable ebb and flow of human plans and the unyielding march of time. Number 12. MVE Evangelia, Romania Off the Romanian coast in the Black Sea near the resort of Costinesti lies the shipwreck of the MVE Evangelia. This ship, built in the same Belfast shipyard as the infamous RMS Titanic, met a less tragic but similarly ignominious end. Launched in 1942 as the Empire Strength for the British Ministry of War Transport, the ship passed through several owners and names until it was acquired by a Greek shipping company in 1965 and renamed MVE Evangelia. On October 15, 1968, under mysterious circumstances, the ship ran aground. Theories abound, with some speculating that the ship was deliberately wrecked for insurance purposes. Nonetheless, the official reason given was navigational error. Today, the remains of the MVE Evangelia stand as a stark silhouette against the horizon, attracting both tourists and locals. Despite the harsh action of the elements and the passage of time, the wreck has remained largely intact, serving as a reminder of the power and unpredictability of the sea. Number 13. The Wreck of the Peter Iredale, USA on the northern Oregon coast in the United States, the skeletal remains of the Peter Iredale have been a fixture on Fort Stevens State Park's beach since 1906. The four-masted steel bark, built in England in 1890, was nearing the end of a long journey from Mexico to Portland when it was caught in a violent storm and ran aground. Fortunately, everyone aboard the ship survived, but the Peter Iredale was severely damaged and could not be salvaged. Over time, the ship was claimed by the sands and the sea. The iron skeleton of the ship was left to the elements, slowly rusting away. Today, the Peter Iredale is one of the most accessible and well-preserved shipwrecks on the American Pacific coast. It has become a favorite subject for photographers, particularly at sunrise and sunset, when its rusted bones create a striking contrast against the backdrop of the sea and sky. Over a century after its fateful encounter with the storm, the Peter Iredale continues to captivate visitors with its story of survival and decay. Number 14. S.S. Selma, USA In the tranquil waters of Galveston Bay, Texas, the ghostly outline of the S.S. Selma, one of the twelve concrete ships built during World War I, breaks the surface. Constructed as an experimental solution to the shortage of steel, the SS Selma was launched in 1919. Unfortunately, the use of concrete as a shipbuilding material didn't prove very effective. Less than a year after its launch, the SS Selma suffered a hull breach, and efforts to repair the ship failed. Given the exorbitant costs of repairs and the lack of facilities capable of handling such a large concrete ship, the SS Selma was ultimately abandoned in Galveston Bay. Over the years, the SS Selma has become a haven for local wildlife and a point of interest for locals and tourists alike. Though attempts have been made to preserve this unique piece of maritime history, the SS Selma continues to deteriorate due to exposure to the elements. Number 16. The Duke of Lancaster, UK In the chill waters of Lake Michigan, off the coast of South Manitou Island, the remnants of the Francisco Morazan serve as a nesting ground for birds and a site of interest for divers. This Liberian freighter was built in Germany in 1922 and traversed oceans under various names before being named Francisco Morazan in 1957. While on a voyage from Chicago to the Netherlands, laden with a cargo of corn, machinery, and packaged goods, the ship encountered a snowstorm. Due to poor visibility and inaccurate charts, the Francisco Morazan ran aground near South Manitou Island in November 1960. Although the crew was rescued, attempts to salvage the ship were unsuccessful due to the severe weather. It was eventually abandoned, becoming one of many shipwrecks in the Manitou Passage Underwater Preserve. Today, despite its slow decay, the Francisco Morazan remains a captivating symbol of maritime history, visible from the shores of the island and serving as a reminder of the perils that can befall seafarers. Number 17. The Plassey, Ireland On the rocky shoreline of Enis Weir, the smallest of the Aran Islands in Ireland, rests the wreck of the MV Plassey. Built in 1940, the Plassey served as a cargo ship, carrying a variety of goods between ports. 
In 1960, while sailing through Galway Bay carrying a cargo of whiskey, stained glass, and yarn, the ship was caught in a severe storm. The gale-force winds and high waves drove the Plassey onto the rocks of Enis Uir. Miraculously, all members of the crew were saved, rescued by the island's local inhabitants using a breeches buoy. Over the years, the Plassey has endured the ravages of the Atlantic weather, slowly rusting and disintegrating. Yet the ship's skeletal remains are a striking sight, standing defiantly against the wild Atlantic winds and waves. The Plassey has become an iconic symbol of Inis Oir, a poignant testament to the power of nature and the perilous life of seafarers. Number 18. The Edward Bolin, Namibia. In the vast expanse of Namibia's skeleton coast, amidst shifting sand dunes, lies the rusted wreck of the Edward Bolin. The German cargo ship ran aground in 1909 while en route to Table Bay, reportedly due to thick fog. The ship became stranded on a sandbank, and rescue efforts failed to dislodge it. Over the years, the desert encroached on the ship, and the Edward Bolin now lies half-buried in sand, miles from the coastline. Despite being over a century old, the wreck of the Edward Bolin is remarkably well-preserved, thanks to the arid climate. The sight of the ship, marooned amidst the dunes, creates an eerie and otherworldly scene. The Edward Bolin serves as a testament to the inhospitable nature of the skeleton coast and the relentless march of the Namib Desert, which engulfs everything in its path. Number 19. M.V. Paniatis, Greece in a secluded cove on the northwest shore of Zakynthos Island, Greece, the wreck of the MV Panayotis has been resting since 1980. This freightliner ran aground while allegedly smuggling cigarettes between Turkey and Italy. The exact events remain shrouded in mystery, contributing to the allure of the wreck. During stormy weather, the ship was driven into the limestone cliffs of the cove, which is now famously known as Navagio, or Shipwreck Beach. Over the years, the MV Paniatis has been gradually stripped of its original form by the elements and tourists, yet its rusting hull remains half-buried in the beach's white sands. Today, Navagio Beach, with its dramatic cliffs, turquoise waters, and the rusty remnant of the MV Paniatis, is one of the most photographed locations in Greece. The shipwreck adds a touch of mystery and adventure to the otherwise serene and picturesque landscape. Number 20. M.V. Lyubov Orlova, North Atlantic. The story of the M.V. Lyubov Orlova is one of mystery and intrigue. This Yugoslav-built cruise ship was seized in 2010 in Newfoundland, Canada, due to financial disputes. After being abandoned for two years, it was sold to a Dominican company for scrap in 2012. However, while being towed to the Dominican Republic, the tow lines snapped in heavy seas, and the Lyubov Orlova drifted away. Despite attempts to secure the vessel, it was eventually lost in international waters. Since then, the MV Lyubov Orlova has been roaming the North Atlantic, earning it the nickname, The Ghost Ship. Rumors and speculations about the ship's whereabouts have abounded since it was set adrift. Satellite sightings have suggested that it may have sunk, but without definitive proof, the final fate of the MV Lyubov Orlova remains unknown. Its story adds a modern twist to the long maritime history of ghost ships, capturing the imagination with its spectral voyages in the vast, uncharted waters of the North Atlantic.